to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please write it down. And in case your faith did not allow you to write some things, write it again now. Because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them. Because we say, can God make a way in the wilderness? We are here for you. Come and do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. This is your Hallelujah. Now, if you've written it, please ushers. Ushers will go around. You're just going to pass it. They'll bring it before the altar here. You can pass it to the last person, maybe the person on the aisle. Can we do it that way? Maybe to make it easy. Or ushers, just go around. Maybe just find a way of organizing yourself. Please make sure everyone's request is here. Just You can just submit it. We are here for you. Come and do what you we are here for you. Come and do, come and do what you do. Set our hearts, set our hearts. Submit it to the ushers moving round. There are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's, let's have their request. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed I will never be the same, I've touched your grace. My life is changed. 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 I am. 
you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed hallelujah now while you are dropping this i'd like you to begin to pray where you are seated and declare that Lord these Egyptians that I see today I will see them no more forever somebody is praying don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever do we have all the requests Standing in agreement with the altar of your father, Pastor Amos Fenwa. Just, just do it here. You'll pack it back. So, yes. Someone's life is about to change. A new season is about to open for someone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure we have everything here. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Someone help mama. She's trying to come with her request. Please somebody collect it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I will not trouble our father, but I will just stand praying so that his, his, his grace is here speaking but while you are there please stretch your hands here with faith believing and I want you to begin to blast in tongues while you are standing I'm going to go on my knees and cry to the God of heaven Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Stretch your hands and pray. <laughs> Rapid, I can't stop, 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 I can't stop
stand on it. Listen, the moment I stand on it, the power of God is going to begin to touch people. Please, I want you to bring them out. It's an instruction that the Holy Ghost is giving to me. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction that the moment I stand on this and I stand on it in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this congregation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing that must open doors right now from the left to the right, the front to the back may that grace locate people now take that grace now, please bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ you're going to sing a song for me let your power flow in this place bring them out let your healing power like a rope this is delay and i'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out i release that grace delay break now please bring them out now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay tying down people's lives be broken now and size and one inside outside bring them out the spirit of delay shalakatabata whether you are inside outside bring them your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. Show me the hands of people tied. I'm seeing hands that are tied. I want to pray right now. 
the power of God will come on those people. Some of you, it's not just your hands that are tied, it's even the hands of your family. God will touch you for your family. I'm seeing right now, at the count of three, one, two, three, may that grace break those chains right now. Break those chains, oh my God, my God, my God. Break them out, break those chains. God is bringing deliverance. Help that woman, please. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Now, please hear me. I'm still praying. The Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness. At the count of three, you are going to shout that name, Jesus. There is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life. Are you ready now? Please bring those people in the name of Jesus anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft i come by the rod of a higher priesthood in the name of jesus at the count of three as you shout may that yoke be broken you will shout jesus at the count of three one two three jesus I bring you deliverance. I bring you healing by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release their destinies. Release their lives. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. I give the chains for Who is Stella? Stella. Stella. You are wearing green. Stella. Who is that? Is there a woman called Stella? What's your name, ma? You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, ma. Can I pray for you? Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is Jonathan it's alright I will pray with you whose mother is in the teaching hospital there's someone your, your, your mother also is in the teaching hospital sick I don't know who that person is but please come I want to pray when you find that person I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus I want to pray for you I want to pray for you Kemi who is that K-E-M-I Kemi that's, that's somebody's name Please who is that? Quickly Ma I want to pray for you In the name of Jesus the son of the living God I truly see a very serious breakthrough Why, why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. 
I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at a miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, out of her life. See, let me tell you, please don't think we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things, this, this young lady nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan Susan mama you are Susan from where from where are you is, please help us. is this mic working huh I'm married to a kitty but I'm from Delta I want to pray for you can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family the power of God is going to come on someone now the Lord is averting death from your family it's, listen, no, 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 it's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death, I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God. It is averted now. When the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit. That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands, that gentleman standing near the door. Tap him and tell him to lift his hand. No, the one wearing red. Tell him to lift his hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. And I pray, the grave is a spirit. It can call people. You can hear it like someone is calling you, but it is the grave. I command in the name of Jesus, may your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave. In the name of Jesus, for you and for your children. And I declare you are free now and you are free forever. Please don't be embarrassed. There is the Lord is showing me a woman here. I know that generally there will be a lot of people, but there is a woman here. This is up to four, five, six, like six years. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? I'm, I'm seeing up to one, two, three, four, five, six. Please come. Your time has come. Who is that? Haribiti, Arabata, 
came out it's not what I said but you still came out but God God will still touch you I know some of you I hope you are all married praise God we have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for praise the Lord where is your husband Please help us with the mic media can can you help us so that the mic works my husband is at home where where is home maryland maryland yes. you're in lagos here yes do you believe that if we pray for you yes. you will have a child yes you will come and stand in this altar yes and testify yes guy the wonder working power of god is a marvel the power of god is going to come on one of you one of you here right now now out of her barrenness is a spirit it can hear out now release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of jesus christ i speak to you and i prophesy according to the time of life i don't care what the situation is in the name of jesus christ I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God, I decree and declare you will return with your child. In the name of Jesus. My dear, is your husband here? Because the Lord is telling me he's here. Where is he? Please help us. Are the mics working? Call him. Where is he? Husband. Let's save time. Our time is, is. Do you call his name so that he will hurry up? Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here, sir? Okay, someone has gone to call him. There is a reason why I'm asking him to come. I hope you are not embarrassed. A few minutes and, and we'll be done. What's your name? Susan. I want to pray for you. Where are you from? What do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you that every altar that stands to destroy your destiny in the name of Jesus I cause that altar now out now sir how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb huh? yes. about six years do you believe the end has come yeah. hold my hands My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction, look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? <laughs> I spoke about business and you ran out. Ah, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen? Kitchen utensils? Ah, okay. I will pray with you to help. But... Madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August, there are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. 
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ these are your children come who is this one this fella my first one your first one where is she uh, at the crowd pray for how huh? I will speak in parables the Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please pray for her I am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again you are not born again I'm sorry but this, this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the Lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy God's people. Oh, madam, I pray for you. May doors be opened for you now in the name of Jesus. And for all of you here who are standing, I want to pray for you. August is your month of wedding. Who is that? August, come. Because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble. I must pray for you. I'm not saying if you want to marry August, oh. please understand what I'm seeing. What? I'm seeing too many people. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry one. Well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August. For some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person now. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor aware? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh, but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. This is the wife and this is the husband. This is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean... Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I'm sick. I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? My son is a member. I okay. Okay. Member you went for Beria. And from After that, your leg just paralyzed. I fall sick seriously. I have the one that come out just now. Come and give testimony that I nearly died. He said. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you, eh? Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life. Now, in Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come. It's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I prayed for you. 
Have I prayed for you? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan. Where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from Ikorodu, but I'm from Anambra State. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry, right where you are. Just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out, I'll pray with you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Now, I want to pray for the sick, please. Believe in miracles. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus I correct it now pile no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus There's someone you have severe pain around your molars, your teeth. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching that person right now. Touching that person right now. We're going to take a few testimonies here. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone you have excruciating stomach pain. You've not been able to figure what the problem is. Month after month, excruciating pain. Right now, you're going to feel just like fire, a warm sensation, and that's the end of it. I declare, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I think because of your blood group, you have um, 
a lot of pains help them the power of God is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of Jesus I declare unto you be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of Jesus I declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyena around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go I don't know who that is but in the name of Jesus I'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of Jesus supernatural healing um, my God you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what I'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of Jesus I don't know who that is I hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are I'm praying for you right now bring the lady that shouts under the anointing the power of God is coming on a lady now I'm seeing a lady not a man it's a very loud shout please bring that person I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing there is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus this is an instruction God is giving me so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now I want to pray no that's not the person the power of God is going to come upon the person I will still pray but that's not the person this one I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit I was praying and the Holy Spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit we are here responding to what he wants not what we want and if you are not sensitive you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives praise the Lord I don't know why he does this thing sometimes but we just are patient please just be sensitive the power of God will come on that person bring her oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah 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 Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus 
that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through the prophesying prophecy is powerful and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved the prophetic ministry has largely been abused the prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations praise the Lord can I speak over your life prophecy does not only reveal it creates it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every closed door Holy Ghost Christian Center I pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you your business and your family I speak to that door be open now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus be open now in the name of Jesus I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and all the ministries connected to this grace whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact I decree and declare those doors are open now I pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of God whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus tonight may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of God be open listen please hear me when a man is not serious with God that destiny is in trouble I don't care what you have I don't care what you have I don't care what you are if your hunger hunger is proof of health when people are sick the first thing that happens is they lose appetite I always continue to check my life I will cancel any meeting and cancel anything at all to restore my hunger for God my hunger for God and my passion for him is greater than anything influence name whatever it is again let me pray for you because you see these our lives as we're busy the vicissitudes of life they have a way of stealing away little by little our hunger you forget to pray you forget to fast you forget to study you say no problem I will come back again no the heritage that we have received come from people whose hunger was sustained in the name of Jesus the grace for genuine passion towards the things of God may that grace rest on your life I pray fresh fire upon your altar in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you everything that closes your mind so that you are not unfruitful unto the things of righteousness that 
it stops you from accessing the truth and the riches of scripture in the name of jesus i open your understanding in the name of jesus i open your understanding spiritual illumination by the power of the holy ghost number three please stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i pray in the name of jesus the grace that makes what is on your hand multiply i release that grace upon you holy ghost christian center i prophesy that your five loaf and two fish i command it to feed five thousand in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hand in the name of jesus christ please put it down i pray for you the bible says everywhere the sole of your feet shall tread upon it is given unto you i bless your feet may it go to good places i bless your feet i take it away from trouble i take it away from pain dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bashkana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto preka teka nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.